Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. This video is going to be about uh, the next year, 2018-2019, um, the Into Orbit theme for FLL. Um, no, it's never too early to really think about it. In fact, I did a video maybe a month and a month and a half, two months ago, kind of asking some questions about, you know, the models and, you know, different questions about next year's competition. Um, but this video, I just want to kind of get some more discussion rolling on. You know, feel free to comment what you want. Don't comment what you feel you don't want or secrets and things like that that you just kind of want to keep under wraps. I get it. I understand that. Um, but it's just it's just so hard to not think about next year already. Um, and some of the questions that you and your team, your coaches might have uh, for next year. So it's just one of those things where this is another discussion video if you guys want to throw down some things. I, I actually want to show you the trailer if you haven't seen it already or the teaser video for the Into Orbit. Um, but just throwing out some questions as far as um, maybe not necessarily directly towards Into Orbit, but um, when the theme changes every year, do you guys change the name of your team or does your team name stay the same? Uh, for my teams, we basically keep it all the same. Um, we don't, you know, last year was hydrodynamics. We don't touch it. I mean, you know, we don't do anything related to water or trash from the previous year. We just kind of keep all our names the same. I don't know. That might change. I, I've, I've actually never really asked my teams, do they want to change it for the different theme? Um, something else you guys might be thinking about, too, is... Um, when you're preparing for the season, you know, whatever that, the next FLL season, um, you know, do your, do you get a lot of turnover or do the same students or kids come back year after year after year? Um, for mine, it, it, it kind of depends. It's kind of, I, I guess, middle of the road. Um, I guess it kind of depends on the students that you get for your teams. Like I have students that love it so much. They're like, I want to keep coming back year after year. Oh, wait, there's an age limit? You know, if, if there was no age limit, they'd probably keep coming back year after year after year. And then some students, I just, you know, it's one and done. Um, they're like, oh, that was fun, but, they're, you know, they're going to do something else. I do have a lot of students that are into sports, and after one year, they kind of just, you know, go and do something else. So it kind of depends on the student, um, you know, whether I get them coming back or not. Um, but anyway, uh, let me have you check out this teaser, and I'll come back for some more questions about Into Orbit. Okay, guys, this was the uh, link to the first LEGO League um, webpage. I get um, emails from them pretty regularly, and they just threw this link to me about this uh, first LEGO League Into Orbit teaser. So let me kind of play this for you and then uh, I'll come back again like I said for more questions I kinda like how all of the different levels of robotics have the space theme but this definitely is a teaser I mean no words no no nothing just showing us different things about space Core Values Robot Game Project. There's got to be a satellite in the models, huh? All right, guys. So there was the teaser for Into Orbit. Um, but you know what? Let me break away, come back to you for some more questions. Okay, so hope you liked that teaser, that link to that Into Orbit, um, the new season coming up. Um, so I got some more questions for you. And again, choose to leave down in the comments what you want to comment about. Don't comment about things that you think are too uh, revealing for you to, to shout out. Um, for you guys doing FLL, do you keep the same robot year to year? For those, those of you that are going to return from this year to next year, what are you guys going to do with your robot? I guess it might depend on how well you did. Um, but... My team, they definitely changed up their robot. Um, there were some aspects about it they didn't like. So 
man, it was like the day after our championship at Legoland, they came back and said, Mission, we want to take this robot completely apart, start over again. So, and who knows what's going to happen, um, you know, when the next season starts, they might totally change that and take that one apart. So that that's the next one. If you want to leave down there, what are you guys going to do with your robot? Are you keeping the same one or are you, I guess it might depend too on the models and what the missions are, you know, that has a lot to do with what are you going to do with your robot and different things you might put on it. Um, but anyway, so going into this next season, that's something, you know, we all have to think about as coaches and, you know, students is, you know, uh, what's your name going to be? Uh, do you keep the same robot? Um, you know, who's coming back on your team? Who's leaving? So it's just one of those things where, you know, it's kind of like life. As time moves on, things change. Some things stay the same. So anyway, I just thought this might be a cool conversation starter for next year's Into Orbit. So again, lastly, leave down in the comments section things you want to discuss, and then we'll just have a lot of fun with that. Okay, guys. Um, you know, I guess we'll be waiting for, you know, in August when they roll out everything, the, the models, the mat and everything like that and what the missions are. So until then, uh, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I am out. Thank you.